everyone, Joel Lance here. Tim outside Zoa Moroccan Kitchen here in Houston, Texas, guys. Here, gonna eat some Moroccan food. So I recently had a little exposure to Moroccan food, and it was so good that I was, well, well, like I had a little bit of time today, and I was like, let me go try a couple items. Just kind of Google those close by. We have Zoa, Zoa Moroccan Kitchen, really good reviews. So I don't know anything what they have. They say bowls, sandwiches, but guys, the last time I had Moroccan, it was a Moroccan sauce, it was so good. Just like cumin, garlic, herbs, spices. So let's go and have fun, let's eat food. everyone they had so many options I couldn't really decide what to get so I got a little bit of everything so real quick I got a couple bowls you can actually make your own items here and it's really quick it's almost like a I don't want to say like grab-and-go chipotle ready to order main style but that's pretty much what it's like and it's awesome but what I'm so impressed with is just how like authentic everything is like incredibly Moroccan so to start I have the Marrakesh this has the beef tagine which is their like kind of flavored beef we got some lovely cabbage uh, we got some sweet potato. I went with this on a bed of a quinoa and brown rice. You actually can pick the base. For the other two bowls, I made them. And I put them on greens because I love greens. So they're kind of like salads. I got some uh, kefta, which is like a meatball kind of thing. I got some of the lovely curry kind of uh, grilled cauliflower. I also went with some of the chicken, which I also have on a sandwich in addition to some uh, on, raisin onions and some other really cool items in there. Um, there. There's so many things, guys. So many like pickles, onions, olives. It is just bursting with flavor by the looks of it. Then we have uh, this other bowl I made. I had the beef tagine. I also put shrimp on it. I do like me some seafood, cabbage, beets, greens as well. Then the two sandwiches. I have the Casablanca, which is actually a lamb, which like it looks really awesome. We also have a aioli on there, white beans. A uh, little bit of everything, guys. It looks delicious. And last but not least, we have the Bez, which is actually a chicken sandwich. The chicken looks so good. It looks like roasted. Um, there is some comfy onions on here, some greens, maybe some cabbage, and I think some, some pickles and olives on a Fatima bread. They also have an unsweet green tea. Very delicious. Anyway, guys, lots of flavor. I smell cumin, I smell garlic, pickles. Oh, I'm so excited, so let's get started here. I'm just excited to eat, so let's eat. So I'm gonna start with the Marrakesh, guys. This one looks awesome again. Kind of one of their uh, standards, one of their favorites. One I did not make. So I got that beef. Got some delicious looking quinoa and brown rice mix. Mmm, ooh, the beef is sweet. Honey, that's really nice, kind of like winter spices. Guys, there's like, I, I'll be honest, everything that's in here, not even 100% sure. Mmm, but the flavor, that cabbage, beef tray dog, try some of these greens. Here, I'm gonna get a bite with a little bit of everything. Try to. That's a big, big, big looking bite. Guys, that beef is sweet. I have cinnamon. I have cardamom in that bite. The city, that cabbage. Oh my gosh. Amazing. And you can customize this, make it the way you like it. Honestly, this is like a great grab and go meal. Mm. It was so quick. Mm. Oh my gosh. I just had a cinnamon raisin onion soup. Woo! Guys, that is so good. The more I get down to it, the more I can kind of like get bites of everything in it. There's so much flavor. Mm. Mm. Guys, what I'm so impressed with is it's like, just lovely I get like cardamom, but I'm getting human. And I'm getting richness from beef, from everything and curry. Mm. So many spices. That is super awesome. Next, let's try the lamb. 
I like lamb when it is done right. And this looks amazing. Kind of like, obviously, Moroccan style. Kind of like the, reminds me of like a Middle Eastern kind of style. We got a, uh, you know, cucumbers, tomatoes, aioli. This bread is super nice and soft. I'm excited to try it. Marinated cucumbers. That lamb is a great flavor. It's not gamey. The aioli on here is really, really delicious as well. It adds a really nice richness. But it's very, very, very like, fresh. The beans. Beans actually have a really nice texture. I'm kind of surprised when there are beans on a sandwich. But it adds just like almost creamy texture. Not gonna lie, pretty dang good. I should have showed you earlier, but the lamb, but it's like roasted, has this like beautiful kind of um, herbs and flavors kind of all over it. But yeah, that was very, very good. I'm gonna try, mm, I'll try the other sandwich while we're on it. So this is the Fez. The Fez, we have some comfy onions, we have all the lovely looking roasted chicken on here. So let me try to show you what that chicken looks like. Yeah. Look at a nice looking chicken. Cool. I lost it. Mmm. Wow. Hold up. Hold that thought. Let's get a complete bite of this. I'm actually super impressed. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. The flavor on that guy is woo! There's something on here, I think it's a Zalouk, which, what is Zalouk? Eggplant, guys. It is just lovely, like, adds just lovely moisture, like, that, it just makes sense, because eggplant is really, again, almost like soft and creamy in a way, that just like coats your mouth. The flavors of that cabbage are on there. There's a little bit of something, a little bit of acidity. Lots of cumin. This is fantastic. Every bite. It's such an explosion of flavor. What I can't get over is how quickly they made everything. I had all these dishes within about five minutes to order. And there's something like pickled on here also. Mmm. All of it too. Guys. That's a keeper. The Fez. Shout out the staff too, they're super, super cool. Alright guys, lamb. Now I got the bowls that I made. Thank you so much. I don't know how these flavor combinations will go, but I'm excited to try out, find out. Probably start with this one. So we have the kefta, which is like a meatball. They have it in a, a Tomato sauce, looks like that. Mmm. 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 Hold on, what's that herb? Mmm. Alright, it's slipping my mind, but that flavor of that herb and tomato is super fresh. Mm. Cauliflower, pickles, and olives. Alright, these are these raisin onions. I think I had them on the first one. Mmm. Oh my gosh, guys, cinnamon raisin onions. How is that good? It is good. And I got the chicken on here also. That chicken. I got all the sauce on the side to try this one, but. So I'm gonna try this red harissa. Mm. Ooh, a little bit of heat to that. I'm gonna take a nice bite of greens, chicken, with some meatball, some onions and some lovely looking cauliflower. Add a little bit of this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, please. The pickled veggies, that roasted cauliflower. Mm. Mm. I love pickles, I love onions. Olives, incredibly fresh. 
And I think what I like the most about this, like getting the bed of greens, is kind of the way I like it, is everybody. It's nice and light. It's definitely like a healthy option. Mm. And the juices of everything, like those cinnamon onions, just drip down. It's like a super delicious salad. I like it a lot. And do not sleep on the cinnamon onion, raisin onions. Whoa, damn good. And last but not least, before I stop scaring all the other customers in here and wondering why a guy's talking to the camera by himself. This is my custom made bowl, beef tagine, shrimp, cabbage, beets. I love some beets. Mm. Acidic, sweet. Got the red harissa sauce on it and I got cinnamon carrots. Mmm. Woo! Sweet, cooked, nice texture. Try that shrimp. Oh, it's A very shrimpy tasting shrimp. It's a really interesting, like, almost tomato paste thing. Try this lovely beef. We have this on the uh, first bowl. Mmm. Mmm. God, it is so sweet. And the herbs, the honey. Try this, like, a little bit of everything by it, if I can. But I gotta say, I mean, of course you could like, just mix these up. It's probably the best way to, to eat them. I love the use of the cardamom and the cinnamon, those warm winter spices. With the cumin, the meat. It's the best thing ever. And the crunchy texture of those vegetables. And seriously, again, like the best thing about this you just you really do pick what you want in it. Mm. And again, not all the options have to be super heavy or anything. This is awesome. Mm. I mean, a real one there? Where are they? Anyway, everybody, this is amazing. Zoa. 100% I recommend. Just the flavors on that. If you've never tried it, I honestly would say, like this far exceeded my expectations. I heard like you said a little bit of Moroccan food before, and I was like, oh, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Guys, for a grab and go place, just like super quick, you know, assemble to order kind of thing, this was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. I would undoubtedly recommend it. I mean, in regards to like the pre made ones, the Fez, the chicken Fez sandwich was definitely my favorite. That was delicious. The beef bowl I had earlier was absolutely delicious. Excuse me, but I'm also biased. The two bowls I made, I'm sorry. Those are fantastic, but the cool thing is you can make it exactly however you want it. So, delicious. Try that beef, tagine that beef, that sweet beef is so, so good. Don't sleep on the raisin, onion, cinnamon raisin, onion things. Carrots were great, the cabbage. Everything's fantastic, so. But I'm very full. I don't need any more food, but that was awesome. And uh, sitting surprisingly light for all that. That was a lot of food, but. Anyway, everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, I'm excited to have that Hungry Happy Eating Houston. You got great food. Zoa is a really good spot. Like seriously, this is the perfect lunch spot. I really do wish I had one of these near me because it's like a healthy, light, it doesn't have to be oil-filled option. So, until next time, everybody. Have a good day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.